nine five four three two one. You can hate him for not making that fight happen. But this is an unbiased show. We talk boxing. If it is just some missed details, the Double RT Boxing Show, Mr. A is here to help you because that's what we do. We talk that boxing, spit that fire on the internet, dragging on the net, hashtag dragging on the net. You know, follow me on at Twitter at RRTB Show. Double RT, Double RT, Double RT Boxing Show with Mr. A. All right. Thanks for tuning in. This is the breakdown and prediction for the rematch. Langford, Wilburn. Can Tommy do it? Will Jason say no? It's my belt, bro. My belt. This fight is going to be a deciding factor of the same things. Can Tommy handle pressure? You know, I picked Tommy in the first fight because even this fight, I think Tommy's a better boxer than Jason Wellborn. You know, I, I like Tommy's style. I do like Tommy. I like the way he moves around the ring. I like the way he pumps the jab. But it's a proven fact that Tommy can't handle pressure. You know, he, he folds under it. And it would be a foolish thing for Jason to try and go into this fight with pride and say, I'll box Tommy. When it's, you know, he did what he did best. He put pressure on him and he barely won that first fight. It was a close ass fight. I think I had Jason winning like 115, 114, something like that. It was a very close fight. You know, he he poured on in the beginning, got, got gassed in the middle and won the last two rounds and saved him, saved himself. And he's gonna have to do, he's gonna have to do it again. He's gonna have to do the same strategy, same strategy. Now, but Tommy's gonna have to, he can't gas out. He, he, he can't get tired. He can't get overwhelmed by the pressure. You know, the thing if Tommy would have never got knocked down in the first round, it could have been a draw or Tommy might've won that fight. So that knockdown means a lot in round two. So like I said, as good as Jason, it seemed like Jason was just dominating that fight, but it was a so, so close fight. Like actually part of me wants to go with Tommy again because he almost pulled it off. He's like I said, the styles, I always think a boxer could beat a pressure fighter. It's hard. But I think with movement and the right boxing skills, the boxer does it, you know? But pressure bust pipes. So I'm trying to think, you know, to me, Tommy has a better leg and feet movement. He has a ring generalship. Offense, I think he has a better offense of um, weapon, weapon trois. You know, he throws better punches, uh, variation in speeds. But the power ain't there. He couldn't keep... Jason off him. He's, he's a lot of arm, just pats, just get, just touching. Like he was, he was never punching through Jason. He was tapping Jason while Jason was fucking trying to knock his head off, break a rib, and that's what uh, won the fight. Because Tommy would be doing good, throwing his arm punches, you know, looking good. All of a sudden, Jason would come a little flurry, and you could tell right away. Whose flurry was controlling that round? You're like, oh shit, Jason is doing something. Tommy's trying to survive. Jason's trying to win. And you, you, could, you could tell by the oomph of the punches. And defensively, Tommy gets hit good. And when he does get hit, he gets affected. He either drops or he sways. Jason, you hit Jason, it's just like, okay, boom. He, he takes it. But you can tell he just got, he's taking a clean hit. He doesn't give any special effects to the judges. But Tommy gives special effects. You hit him, <laughs> turns his head with it, he <laughs> gets all rocked. So like I said, like I said, part of me, I'm, I'm just, I'm real stuck on this fight. Part of me wants to go with the same pick, Tommy Langford. He's a better boxer. He's gonna, he's gonna do it this time. And then the history of me and Sam, dude. 
that's two for two. Tommy can't handle pressure fighters. You know, do I pick to pressure Jason Weber? I know he's not the better fighter, but he won the first fight, but he barely won. But it's the pressure. Do I go with what I'm seeing as kryptonite? Or is this the time Clark Kent turns into Superman and gets a bigger shot? But even Kryptonite beats Superman. You know what I mean? Do do Tommy Langford handle pressure and defeats it finally this round, this fight? Kurt Kurkitsky took him down with pressure. Jason took him down with pressure. Like I said, if Jason tries to get at pride and ego and tries to box Tommy that's going to be his downfall. He needs to just go with the same game plan and just pressure him. Pressure him. You know, do a little more do a little more flurries. Maybe get, maybe pace himself a little better. Oh, man. Because part of me says Chase is going to knock Tommy out early because it's just He's, he's riding high. He knows what to do. And Tommy knows that Jason knows he can hurt him. Tommy knows that Jason knows I have this style you can't fuck with. You know, Jason knows Tommy can't fuck with that style. So mentally, is Tommy going to go into this fight fucked up? Or is Tommy going to be a warrior, wash it off, and come back? I don't know, man. It was the same damn shorts. So Tommy is Tommy. I'm stuck as fuck on this fight. Like I said, I think Tommy's the better boxer. Jason just has that stuff. Styles make fights. <sighs> I'm going to go with the little bit of boxing I always fought. I'm going to go with Tommy again, even though I think he's going to get knocked out early. Hope he can I just the boxer beats a punt, a pressure fighter. You know, I know sometimes, you know, pressure fighters win. But, you know, Sean Porter, all his good he loses. He's a good pressure fighter. But when it when it comes down for Sean Porter to fight a boxer, he loses. Keith Thurman and um Kel Brook. They they beat him. You know, any pressure fighter in the, out there, you find they, they be whooping people's asses, but when they come across a boxer, they lose. But can Tommy handle that pressure? He's, he showed me no for twice, he can't. Am I going to be the fool and pick him for a third time? Sure, why not? Why not? Tommy... I'm, this is my Adrian Broner moment on you. I'm going to ride that horse one last time. Tommy Langford to redeem himself. Right here on the Double RT Boxing Show. By, by moving and sticking and punching through him this time. Not fucking just tapping him on the face. He will defeat Jason Warborn and get it. I believe it's a, a British... What belt is that for? A British um, middleweight... I forgot what Bell's death for, but he, he's going to defeat Jason Wilborn by, by some points. Uh, split decision. Thank you for tuning in. I'm your host, Mr. A. Whew, I have no fucking idea about this fight. Thumbs up. Please subscribe.